Hello, today I'll show you how to uh, set up your uh, wheel log with uh, Pebble, Watch. Pebble Watch. Pebble Watch is a watch that is very popular among uh, uh, electric unicycle users because it allows you to constantly monitor uh, your wheel vital parameters like speed, like uh, battery level, like uh, mainboard uh, temperature, like uh, distance ridden and so on. Uh, uh, Pebble Watch is uh, quite old and no longer manufactured smart watch but it has some nice features. First, it uh, lasts uh, quite long on a single charge it's quite sturdy and waterproof. Uh, it's also uh, very good readable on uh, direct sunlight, mm. and it's mm, quite cheap for now because you can only uh, buy it from a second hand. So you buy it used, and many people switch to newer uh, smartwatches uh, selling their Pebble for a good price, so you can get the Pebble quite uh, cheap. Uh, okay, mm, but there are some problems due to it's no longer manufactured, it's also no longer supported by its original uh, manufacturer. Uh, of course, we have a Rebel as a service, this is a, a community service uh, that uh, brings again uh, uh, application store directly for a Pebble watch uh, but there is this, uh, uh, one thing that I don't like I don't like to create uh, another account just to install one application and so if you just need to set up your new used Pebble with well wheel log and that's all so uh, you don't have to use Rebel. This will also make all process uh, simpler because what we need is to uh, have a wheel log installed and configured on our phone. I assume you have already uh, done this because uh, you're using it with your wheel. And now you bought the uh, wheel, uh, sorry, uh, Pebble Watch and want to make it uh, working with your uh, um, wheel log application. So what we need? We need to install uh, Pebble applications to your phone. It's no longer available in uh, Google Play Store, uh, but you can download it from euc.world. Um, and another thing is uh, a Pebble Watch wheel lock application, a companion application that is installed directly into the uh, watch. Uh, it needs to be side loaded using Pebble applications. It maybe sounds uh, slightly complicated, but it's not. It's quite uh, easy. Uh, so uh, let me show you uh, each steps needed to start using this pebble with your wheel log uh, and make you more happy. Okay, let's do it. We have our phone and we have a pebble watch. Uh, first, uh, ensure that your pebble is uh, ready to pairing. Uh, it needs to be factory set. Uh, if it's factory set, it will display uh, its identifier, so its identifier in this case is Pebble 1B 9B. Okay, but this is the screen of uh, watch ready for pairing with the phone. If it's uh, displaying normal watch face, uh, you have to enter many settings and then system, then scroll down to factory reset and perform factory reset. Uh, this watch has been already uh, factory set, so it's ready for pairing. So now if we have the uh, watch ready for pairing, we have uh, to prepare our phone. First, what we need, we will need the third party file manager. 
I uh, will use Total Commander here and I recommend you uh, using uh, Total Commander, but before we will uh, install Total Commander, if you don't have one, first we have to allow up, uh, installing applications from unknown sources. Unknown sources means that other than uh, um, Google Play Store. We need it because we will have to install a Pebble application uh, from APK file that we have just uh, put into the internal memory of our phone. We have downloaded two files from the euc.world. Uh, uh, first is the Pebble APK um, and the second is the uh, we log PBW. This is the applications that we will sideload to the watch but keep order. Uh, first we have to uh, enter security uh, settings and uh, enable installing applications from unknown source. Okay, we have set it up so we can go back, enter the Play Store, search for Total Man Commander File Manager, install. So we have to install it. Uh, it's quite small application it's less than two megabytes so it will install quite uh, fast mm. okay now uh, we can open it we have to give uh, permission to access photos media and other files on these devices this is a file manager so I'm entering the location that I put uh, both uh, files. The first is Pebble APK and we will install it now. So I tap it and confirm that I need to install. So uh, 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 rights we have to grant uh, the Pebble so we can confirm and install. Okay. Now we have application installed, so we can open newly installed Pebble. Uh, we don't need Pebble account, so skip login. So we could, uh, uh, we can't uh, even uh, log in because there is no longer uh, possible. So we confirm that we need to skip login. Now we will have to select which Pebble version we, we have. Uh, we have now the standard, the first Pebble. Okay, uh, you need to activate your Pebble, so you have to press and hold the center button, okay. Now it displays again the pairing screen, so we have to repeat the whole operation. Okay, this is our Pebble 1B, 9B, so we can confirm it is connecting. Okay, we have to confirm both on the Pebble watch and on our phone. Okay, now we have to wait for a while for update uh, firmware in uh, Pebble watch because the Pebble application contains uh, newest firmware versions for all Pebble watches that was manufactured. So we have to wait for a while. Okay, update complete. We have to wait uh, a while uh, uh, for a pebble to boot. Okay, uh, now we have a pebble uh, watch working. Update is complete, so we can continue. We can select uh, the language. We have uh, several languages to choose. I uh, chose English. Yes, English. So, okay, we are done. Uh, we can we have we can uh, allow Pebble to uh, access notifications. 
so it can uh, notify us about different uh, events uh, on the Pebble Watch. Okay, we are done. Now we have uh, one standard watch face, and uh, actually we are set. Okay, uh, watch is connected to our phone, is uh, properly set up. Now we have to sideload the wheel lock PBW to our watch, but it's not that easy. In, in theory, you should be able to just click now the wheel lock PW, PBW to open it with the pebble, uh, so it will be uh, able to sideload uh, the wheel lock uh, companion applications to the watch. But uh, you may encounter that it will be open as a zip file because uh, uh, the PBW files is actually a zip file containing uh, files uh, uh, needed to run um, application on the watch. So in this way you won't be able to side load. So what we have to do, we need to make a shortcut. We lock PBW, uh, create link on desktop and uh, select command pebble okay now we've made a shortcut to this file on the screen of the phone and now when we click this we will open a pebble application and it will ask us if we want to load external application so we have to confirm and now will a companion application is side loaded on our watch and now it should work so we have to check if it is the case okay i will enter wheel lock welcome on board Oh, welcome. Okay, it just connected, connected to my KS16X. And let's see. You have to just enable the watch. And voila! We have 35 centigrades and 60% of battery left. When we press the right lower button we will go to the second page where is the right time distance and top speed and again main watch face wasn't it hard was it uh, now we have uh, set up our pebble watch with the phone and with the wheel log application so we can use it to monitor uh, uh, most basic and most vital parameters of your wheel during your during your ride. Uh, next time, I will show you how to set up the flick button with your wheel lock. Flick button is a small but very useful device that acts as a remote button. It may uh, be used to uh, execute three define predefined actions. One after you single press the button, second after you double press the button and the third one after you press and hold for a while. Uh, so you can for example use it to uh, activate horn signal using a single press, to activate uh, a voice report uh, after a double press and to turn on or off your front light when you press and hold the button. So please stay tuned and see you in the next movie. Bye!